Okay, so there was recently an update, a really nice update to Power Director uh, Mobile. It includes the ability to not only edit 4K video, but also render it in 4K as well. So now you can do 4K video editing using Power Director fully. Before you could you can import 4K video, but you had to use 1080p instead to uh, mix it down. But now you can actually render it fully in 4K. So it's actually kind of cool. So I'm just going to do a little, try to do a little clip. Now it'll tell you, oh, you may not, you know, you may experience performance issues. I'm just going to use the original depends on how powerful your device is. I don't know how, I've never actually tried to use a 4K video uh, with on this phone. I did edit some 4K video on the Shield tablet. So I don't know exactly how this will work, but, oh, it crashed. <laughs> well, okay, let's try this again. Okay, so seems to be working there. And so I'm just going to cut and get to the part where, yeah, this should be good enough. And then just cut it and delete. And we have a quick little, oh, we crashed again. So, yeah, <laughs> my phone is like a few years old. It's not the the, the worst phone in the world, but... You know, works fine on the Shield tablet. So let's see if we can play without it crashing. There we go. I'm also recording the screen, so... Um, so, you know, I'm recording the screen in, I think, 2K. So, uh, while, while trying to watch a video at 4K and edit, it, you know, so it's going to be a little harder to do. But, so let's see, let's go to edit and, um, you know, make some, some edits. I don't know, let's crop it. <laughs> let's see, let's see, oh, get out of here. I hate when it does that. Um, there you go. Move it around. And just not as much, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Who cares? I'm just doing a little editing, some bull bullshit editing. Um, edit. You can raise the saturation. Try to make it like. Woo! <laughs> make it all crazy. Okay. So yeah, you can do some bullshit editing. Go back to the cropping and. You know, change it back. <laughs> oh, and the app stopped again. <clears throat> like I said, I am recording the screen at, I think, 2K resolution. Oh, but the cropping worked. <laughs> and, um, I think the cropping worked, I don't know. But, yeah, so this is just a YouTube video. I believe the effects... Correct. Ba ba ba. What else? You can also throw layers on top of it, so new other video layers. So you can have video layers. You. Um, so I have. Let's see. I have this. I'm sure. If I if I try to put this on, you know, I'm just gonna show it just for the hell of it. But oh yeah. Okay. Shit. Yeah, so if you actually try to edit 4K, you can't put video layers with it. Um, that's 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 one thing. You can't do video layers with 4K video editing. But you... Hmm. I wonder... Fuck. No, there's nothing you can do about that. That would be nice if you could. But unfortunately, no uh, layers with 4K video editing. That kind of sucks. <laughs> So, as you see, it'll tell you, there is at least one Ultra HD clip on the master track. You cannot insert any videos onto the picture-in-picture -picture track. Well, that sucks, but that's that. So, but you can...
do some 4K video. If you have like a simple 4K video, you can do some simple editing to it and export it in 4K. Uh, so I can hit produce video. And then we go to this and it says Ultra HD, which is the new option that is available. And you can change the settings. You can have better quality frame rate. You can only do up to 30 frames per second. 1080p, uh, you can do 60. So just depends. But hopefully they can do even better, uh, you know, soon. And you'll be able to edit with video. Um, you'll be able to edit your video with uh, true 4K video with... Uh, video tracks or something, uh, you know, maybe soon, maybe some 60 frames per second, 4k, hopefully they release a lot of cool updates. So this is the first, you know, update for, uh, some 4k video editing. So thank you for watching.